Is your website running on Plesk? If your answer is yes, then in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a subdomain on the Plex web hosting platform. The question now is, why do you want to add a subdomain from your main domain? And here's my answer. There are instances you may want to create a new brand for your business and you don't want to buy a new domain. You can easily create a subdomain from your main domain for the brand you want to create. This is just one answer. There are a whole lot of reasons why you may want to add a subdomain from your main domain. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a subdomain when you are using the Plex web hosting platform. Hello guys, this is Swadek here at Diku Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's get started. So like I said earlier, I'm going to show you how to create a subdomain when you are using the Plesk web hosting platform. So having logged into my Plex control panel, I go to websites and domain, which is already active. So if it is not active, you just click on it. It will bring you to this page. Then under websites and domains, I click on add subdomain. Under subdomain name, I enter the name I want to use as the subdomain. So it can be anything. So here I want to create for a consulting services. So I enter consulting. As simple as that. And then dot developghana.com. This is the main domain. And in here I have several domains. And I want to create for developghana.com. So I don't do anything here. So what you see in here will depend upon what you specify in here. Okay. Here, secure with an SSL certificate. I want to do that. So I click on secure the domain with less encrypt. And I'll change this email to info at developghana.com. I go down, click on OK. OK, the subdomain was created. So let's scroll down to see the newly added subdomain. I have a bunch of domains in here. OK, it is right there and it is active. I can install WordPress on it. I can install Joomla or any other content management system. Let's take a look of how our web page will look like with our new subdomain. So I copy, I open a new tab, right click, paste and go. So this is how it will look like. So any new website I install here will not come to replace what you are seeing here. So this is how you can create a subdomain when you are using the Plesk C panel. I hope you found value. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and we will talk soon.